Andrew Bolt! If I wanted to see a weird opinionated fuckhead just blowing away stupid opinions on TV, I'd watch myself. And to finish with, Junior Mastership. Oh, I can say this now that it's not on air anymore. I don't give a fuck about middle class children cooking me food that I'm never going to eat. Come here, little fella, you missed out. Sammy J and Randy. Fuck a monkey! I've been preparing for this my whole life. Really? Yeah. The inaugural Australian Kilt Lovers Festival. Ah. What did you think I was talking about? The apocalypse. This is it, Randy. It's the end of days. Oh, you're such a drama queen. in there. Brandy, it's the apocalypse. Exactly. And we've only got enough food to last us a week. Or two weeks if there's only one of us. What? Well, I'm just saying. Brandy. All I'd have to do is walk away from the window and wait for your skinny little chicken arms to give out. Brandy, you can't be serious. What about all our good times? Good times? Good times. Good times? Good times. Hang on a second. No. Oh, Completely one-sided highlights package. It made me look like a complete asshole. Keep it down out there. I'm trying to make a sandwich. Randy, our life isn't just a series of amusing video clips. It's the bits in between that count. Seven years we've lived together, and I've been there for you, cooking your dinner, uh, bailing you out, and wiping your purple ass. Oh, I'm eating. Well, Randy, we're both gonna die anyway, so we can either die alone or we can die together. 
two old friends sharing one last sandwich. I know which one I'd prefer. Prosciutto? Yep. Yummo. <laughs> Is that prosciutto? Yeah. Yummo. You want a bite? Oh, I kill for one. <laughs> I kill for one. <laughs> it's good because he's dead. All right, boys. Time to hit the road. Radio! After you. Are we there yet? No. How long will this take? Eternity. Hey, Randy, I can see our house from here. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Thirsty. I need to go to the toilet. Ow! Death, Sammy pinched me! Did not. You did I didn't. You pinched me. I did. If you Trevor. two don't shut up, I'll turn this apocalypse around. Sorry, Death. <laughs> to fire up the Good News World satellite one last time and cross to our charming cardboard Kiwi correspondent. <laughs> Come in, Adele. Are you there? Adele! Oh, the Hello, blind Adele. is stuck. <laughs> Here it is, Paul. Oh, Adele, that's a different look for you. It might be a bit of a short bulletin tonight, Paul. I've got to run the bicycle generator myself. Look at the calves on you, girl. You've got Cadell Evans' calves on you. Look at the legs. I'm Adele Evans. <laughs> hey, what about your mum? What did you say about your mum? Well, Mum usually operates the bicycle generator, but Mum and Dad went water skiing and Mum broke her leg. She broke her leg? She did. Oh, where, 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 where were they water skiing, your Mum and Dad? Well, the usual place. They were standing in the bath on two planks of wood while I towed them on the bicycle generator. <laughs> it was all tickety-boo till Mum tried to form a human pyramid on Dad's back and fell off into the soap oh. dish. Oh, Bill, that's terrible. It is. She completely smashed the soap dish. No. <laughs> But your mother, she broke her leg. She did. She had to have a cast and everything, Paul. So you took her to the hospital? Was she, was she all right? Well, the doctor said not to move her, so we just poured plaster of Paris into the bath and left her there. <laughs> oh, your poor, poor mother. Well, not really. She's only got to stay in there for six weeks, and I'm not due for a bath till then anyway. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's good. That's and good. then, when we crack her out of the plaster of Paris, we'll have a life-size mould of mum left over. We can use it to make jelly. No. Oh. Isn't that unhygienic? No, Paul. Jelly's very clean. What sort so, of Paul, jelly I just, I just need a little bit of a breather, I think. I just need to slow down a little bit. Oh, no, Adele, Adele, don't. We'll lose you. Slow down you a bit. Adele, don't stop. We'll lose you if you stop. Adele? Oh. Paul, Adele. Paul, don't worry. You'll never lose me. I've, I've worked out a way that we can be together. Oh, good on you, Slim Shady. What, what is it? Look, Paul. Look what I've done. What have you done, Adele? Oh. Are they wings, Adele? Have you got wings? And they are. Any second now, it's going to be chocks away, and here I come. Uh, Adele, you can't... <laughs> You can't fly a cardboard box to Australia. What if it rains, Adele? Well, then I'll plummet out of the sky like a paper mache bullet of love, Paul. <laughs> but either way, I'll get there. <laughs> well, give it your best shot, Adele. I've got to go, Paul. I've been cleared for takeoff. Okay, Adele. Well, we'll I Don't you, you worry, should... Paul. Here I come. Have a safe flight, Adele. Good luck, Shots Adele. Away!
Nick's top male model, the grand finale. Time for the catwalk. It's very exciting. Well, I'm a bit nervous because I've practiced the, the walking out, but I haven't practiced the walking back. I'm a bit worried because I haven't been tested and tagged. I've just been working on the turn. Are you on the turn? Ooh, oh. Did it. Mikey! Oh. Come on. Oh, wish me well. It's your moment. Let's fly go. away, Mikey. You look fantastic. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to own this. Fly, big bird. Fly. <laughs> First time on the catwalk can be terrifying. Mikey never quite got those beautiful wings to fly. Come on, oh, that was. What are you talking about? That, talk about? that was fine, Mikey. It was, it was great. Come through. I think I soiled myself. You're okay. Your flaps were great. Your best flaps I've ever seen on a man. You're just saying. I'm not. Do the flapping. Look at those flaps. Aren't they beautiful? Sammy J. Sammy, let's go. Then. Disaster struck. Oh, you're oh shit! Oh, Sammy, they're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting. I'm they're stuck! Sammy, I'm stuck. they're calling for you, Sammy, they're calling for you. I need more length, I need a bigger cable. You should have thought of that, Sammy. You fucked me, McDermott. How oh, dare you? I'm gonna get to Bunnings. I can do this. They're still open. I'm, gonna, I'm going to Bunnings. You haven't heard the last of Shane. You haven't heard the last. He will never be a top model. Coming up, the thrilling climax to Australia's next top male model. Good News World continues after the break, but first we cast our critical eye over more of the week's major players. Julia Gillard discovers the whoopee cushion Kevin Rudd is giving her for Christmas. <laughs> Julia Gillard unimpressed by Kevin Rudd's joke about the three mandarins and the rat fucker. <laughs> oh my god, the chip! Go Coffee's free Colombian offer has been so successful, we're now offering Fair Go Decaf. Fair Go Decaf also comes with a free Colombian. Hola. And just like the coffee, he won't be very wakey uppy. He won't make you a coffee, but on the plus side, the dog absolutely loves oh! it. Fair go coffee. Don't you deserve a fair go? Quiet, or I'll let Rex back in again. <laughs> Choice power, helping you feel like a good person. <laughs> It's that time of year again when we take a moment to reflect on the true meaning of Christmas, setting aside our consumerist tendencies and focusing instead on the event that shaped the world as we know it, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Joining us now to discuss his role in the Yuletide celebration is everyone's favourite son, Jesus of Nazareth. Peace be with you, Paul. And also with you. Thank you. Oh, I love doing that. Peace be with you, Jesus. P and also with you. I, I love it. Yeah. That's, Peace that's... be with you, studio audience. And also with you. Oh, it is very satisfying. Hey, I, I've got to tell you, Jesus, yeah. it's a real honour to have you on the show. Well, it's an honour to be here, Paul. You know, it's all part of the book tour. All part of the book tour. <laughs> the book tour? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've been up since 5am doing bloody radio interviews. And after this, I'm going to be a celebrity guest judge on Young Talent Time. <laughs> <laughs> My publicist is a freaking psycho. Uh, what book are you promoting? Uh, we're going for a new market with the Holy Bible. Talking to the kids, taking it to the streets, keeping it real. Hmm? Keeping it real, you know? It's pretty much the same story, but in this version, I'm a vampire. <laughs> a, a Jesus vampire? Yeah, I'm a vampire. It all fits in quite well with the existing blood drinking routine at the Last Supper. Of course, yeah, it makes uh, sense. Yeah. Except in this version, I turn my disciples into a horde of heartthrob Edward Cullens and we prowl the streets of Jerusalem fighting crime by moonlight. <laughs> So picking up on the Twilight fans. Yeah, the kids yeah. are reading books again, so you're going to... Yeah, you've got to... I mean, they're reading books again. We've got to tap into that shit. <laughs> so deviating from the original text? Oh, yeah. Well, look, I mean, I was misrepresented in the first version anyway, Paul. People seem to forget the Bible was written by my fans. <laughs> the Bible is essentially fan fiction. <laughs> Have you ever read any fan fiction, Paul? Fan fiction.